we're looking at five different ways you can level up your designs in Silhouette Studio. Super simple. And the last one is my absolute favorite. So stick around. For those of you that are new around here, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success, and I do hope that you're going to join our little community. Now, there is a lot to learn today, so let's jump right in. We're going to start off with some simple text. Let's go with Happy Holidays. I'm breaking the text up into two lines so that I can edit them individually. I'm going to choose a nice thick font for holidays. Let's go with Arial Black and Happy. I know I want that to be Autumn Beauty. So I can just type that in the bar at the top. I'm going to go ahead and weld that right now and group the pieces together. Now I'm just going to go through and get this situated. Head to the transform panel and flip happy on its side. And more rearranging. I want the H on holidays to be large enough so that happy will fit alongside of it. I'm going to slide it over. That looks good. Now let's create an offset around happy. Click apply. Group that together. Now we're going to bring the offset to the front. Hold down the shift key so we can select holidays as well. Open up the modify panel and subtract. What that has done is it has cut into the H of the holidays and left a spot for happy. We're going to switch up the colors and that looks a little bit more festive, but we can do better than that. I'm going to draw out one small circle one larger circle and then head over to the replicate panel. I'm going to go to the third tab, which is object on path, select the small circle and show the grab handle. When you pull the small circle over to the large circle, it replicates the small circle in a path around the larger circle. Now I'm going to increase the number of repeats that looks good. I'm going to release them and delete the large circle. Let's grab all of these and group them together. Head to the offset panel and I'm going to increase that until all of the offsets are connected. And click apply. Now let's switch that up to green. I'm going to grab the inner circles, switch that to red, and it looks like a cute holiday wreath. Let's group that together. Now I'm going to ungroup my letters, pull the O away, and slide that wreath right in where the O was, and resize it just a bit so that it fits. There we go. We're going to do one more modification here. We're going to go to the Flexi Shapes. We're going to grab this one. Looks just like a Christmas tree. You can play around with the shape here. And you can adjust the number of limbs with the slider here. When it looks just the way you want it, you are going to right click and convert to path. Now, of course, I'm going to change that to green. And I am going to replace the A with the Christmas tree. Get it sized up the way we want it. And your bland Happy Holiday text has been transformed into a whole design. We can get rid of the A and the O. And slide that off. Now, let's do another one. I want this one to say merry and bright. Again, I am separating the lines of text. I'm going to select merry and bright, and I want these to be in the font of merry, um, star bright. I'm sorry. We're going to select a font for and. 
Let's go with Bell MT. Let's select Mary and head to the glyph panel. Delete the Y and replace it with that glyph. We're going to do the G and the T in bright. I don't think I like that one. That one looks better. There we go. Now let's weld these together and group. Weld and group. Let's get them positioned. I'm using the Smart Snapping tool to line everything up. Now, I'm going to create a text box, but I'm not really going to type anything in there. What I'm doing is I'm looking for decorative glyphs at this point. I, these are just symbols, but I know there's one in here that I really like. There it is. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to convert it to path, and then I'm going to flip it on its side, and it just makes a cute little swirly decoration just adds a little bit of flair to your design. I've duplicated it. I've got one in each corner now. Let's select the text. Let's change that to a dark blue. And then I'm going to switch up the swirlies to white. And we can group that together. Now that's cute, but I think we can do better. So let's head over to Creative Fabrica and we are going to look for Christmas dingbats. Dingbats are actually fonts, but they have little pictures instead of letters. Creative Fabrica has a fabulous selection of these dingbats. But I am going to choose this one here. You want to download. Then you're going to unzip and install the OTF. Now again, I've created a text cursor. I've got my Christmas doodles there. And I want a snowflake and I want this star. You're gonna wanna ungroup those so they can work with them individually. Let's turn that to white. And now it's just a matter of scaling and duplicating and placing them where you want them. And this is just really simple way to take your design to the next level. I love that they are right in your fonts, easy to access, and it gives you a large variety of decorations to add. Group that one together. Now I'm going to take this star and I'm going to switch it up to yellow and just pop it right on top of the Christmas tree. If you found any of this information useful, please hit the thumbs up. It helps me out a ton and it helps to push this video out into the YouTube universe so other crafters like you can find it. If you're interested in sharing your creations, you're going to want to hop on over to the Book of Faces, join the group Silhouette Success. I will link it in the description below. You can share your progress, ask the questions, and talk to other silhouetters like yourself. Ton of fun over there. Anyway, go create something amazing and I will see you in the next video.